<laughs> okay, so um, guesses quickly. S rank, A rank, B rank. S. Well, this is a death to all we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so um, I think we're gonna go in another cutscene. Oh yeah, and also um, two gold medals as well. Looks like we've arrived a little too late. What? Oh no! So, um, we are back with a boss fight. Because apparently um, Dr. Eggman is um, suspicious about um, intruders. So, so this is the, the second time we're going to try and fight and defeat Egg's Genesis. So is it any harder? Um, with Silver, I believe it is going to be a little bit harder. But Silver's psychic powers are going to come into play a lot here. And... Um, Actually, I take that back. It may make it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to talk about the, the four issues. Like, do um, you think that Sega um, had a good um, experience in the past with ports at all? In the, you're saying in the in past games? Yeah, any anything, any game like um, Sega's ever ported. Like, do you think that they've had a good experience with ports? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, look at Sonic Heroes. There's no way that they're going to develop the same game three times. Um, or four times, actually, because it was on PC also. They, they, I believe they developed it on PC first, ported it over to Xbox, because that's a direct, super easy port. And then they did it to GameCube, and then PS2, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. it, it came out flawless on all four systems. Well, um, what about the other one ports? Like... Um, particularly like um, Sonic Adventure on the GameCube, like there was, um, or I, I could say that Sonic Adventure 2 Battle was a better port than the um, DX version, but the DX version um, was um, lacking compared to the original. It was, and th they did, you know, they even though they did port it, they did a lot of editing. You know, they they took advantage of the GameCube's engine and graphics over the Dreamcast. And um, they, they are, honestly, they redeveloped DX, whereas Adventure 2 Battle was a direct port. Yeah, because it, it was much more um, fitting at the time. Like, it felt more sharper, I guess, but it uh, lacked the colors as well, like from the Dreamcast games, like from um, the original games. But any other ports that um, Sega did a good job or... Well, um, in my personal opinion, I believe that their port for Sonic Adventure to Xbox Live, um, Arcade, and, and PSN, it, it, a lot of people complained about it. However, the fact that they kind of split the Dreamcast version from the DX version, um, it, it, it kind of it paid homage to the original Sonic Adventure. They updated the graphics to 720p now. It wasn't widescreen, but it was it was a huge upgrade, and it felt you know the physics felt just about the same as they did on at least the GameCube version. Yeah, because um, <clears throat> having a lot of changes, like they try to mix it up with the Dreamcast and GameCube, but but the feel of it was that like um, there's 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 a lot of huge changes, like to the environmental change in um, the original Sonic Adventure and the DX version, which made it so colorful. And like they took out like detailed environments on the hub worlds, and they did the same thing as well. They took out the detailed environments of Station Square, like when I was looking around, and um, <clears throat> they tried to um, upgrade um, the frame rate to from 30 to 60 as well. And do you think that they had to put so much hassle, like actually? make so much changes instead of just making a direct port from like how it was with Sonic Convention 2 Battle or with Sonic Heroes on the Xbox. 
you know that's a very good point they they did make a ton of changes now that i think about it the, the child garden is a huge example um uh, for instance the child garden in dx or the xbox version um for, compared to the dreamcast version um, in mystic ruins it's just no comparison uh, the water was deeper the, the cliffs were taller it was just completely different uh, same with sonic Adventure 2 in the uh, dark child garden where you know you had a cave and this humongous bloody lake and uh, <laughs> You can go up this little hill, and all of that is conveniently absent in battle. And um, yeah, so that that's a very good example. They they did they, they tried to upgrade things, but in the at the same time they they removed a lot of features. Okay, cool. That took too long. Just um defeat X um, Genesis, and we got a C rank. Oh, pretty disappointing there. Yeah, I think um I think it was the time that did it on that one. Okay, cool. Just gonna jump into another cutscene. That's a chaos emerald. It said this gem can transform your thoughts into power. Collect seven, and a miracle's supposed to happen. Keep it as a lucky charm. It transforms your thoughts into power. Hmm. I've been trying to find Sonic, but now I think I'm in trouble. Maybe I should just walk away real quietly before they spot me. Oh. Prisoner has escaped from cell block C-17. All patrolling guards begin searching immediately. I repeat, this way. Prisoner oh, okay. has escaped from cell block C-17. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I am so grateful. I'm Amy. Amy Rose. My name is Elise. Elise? Wait, you're not Elise, the Princess of Soliana, are you? I'll bet someone's already on their way to rescue you. Um, uh, yes. But someone I know said to me, nothing starts until you take action. So I decided to heed his advice. Hmm, you wouldn't happen to have some feelings for this person, would you? What? No, of course It's not. okay. Love changes everything. It feels like every little moment in your life is huge, doesn't it? What does this guy look like? Have you already been on a date with him? Well, no, I really haven't. A one-way love? That's so cute. Come on, there's no need to be shy. Look, you're a princess and you're super cute. That guy's the lucky one. I also have someone that I'm pursuing, too. I wish us both luck. <laughs> Okay, we're back with a mission, and um, we're playing as Amy, so TK, I think she has a huge head in that cutscene. She, she really, 
her head has grown a lot over the years. This is this is an outrage. <laughs> it was like wow, like back in Sonic CD, she had like a small head, like trying to um, play grass Sonic. Now she has a huge head. Like, do you think like this huge head just came from shock? <laughs> I don't. I, I honestly can't say where the huge head came from. <laughs> Maybe she's been eating a lot since um, her Sonic Adventure days. <laughs> yeah, she was always bored, like trying to have an adventure, I guess. Yeah. So she is really having kind of adventure now, but kind of like using her Pika Hammer in um, a more calmer place as Sony on and much to um, Station Square, it's more loud and vibrant. Yes, yeah, her um. Her hammer, we haven't seen it in a long time. It's it's good to be back, you know, with the hammer. But um, honestly, in this game, the physics are a little bit nerfed, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I just feel that like she couldn't do much of a hammer in this right. game. Yeah, and that there should have been a larger hitbox, like a hitbox as in um, a larger. Um,